Welcome back to making an RDS sequel, Cruciferous Manifesto, with subpar programming skills, part 4. Today I want to give Habanero Jr. the ability to defend himself, specifically by shooting little seeds, since he is in fact a fruit. I drew this little seed, which I know isn't really what pepper seeds look like, but I also wanted it to be easily identifiable, and I may add other characters later without giving them their own projectiles. I can always change it later anyways. Now for the actual programming part. I give this seed a rigid body 2D and a box glider 2D and make it a prefab so that I can spawn it and destroy it whenever I want to. Obviously I will spawn it when I fire it and destroy it when it hits something, whether that be an enemy or just a collider like a flower bed. Basically I attached an empty to Habanero Jr. to use as a firing point. From here I can spawn a seed, I apply a force to this seed to make it fly across the screen and then use this handy dandy little function called on collision 2D to make it destroy itself whenever it hits a collider. This was something I had a bit of a challenge with, since changing direction when you're walking does not actually rotate the sprite, it just changes it to a different sprite that is drawn to be rotated. Which means that this firing point does not actually rotate around as I change direction, and the seed always shoots in the same direction no matter what. To solve this, I turned to the if statements I used to handle the animations in the first place. The logic was already there, I just needed to use it to rotate the firing point around as I change direction. I give it a new location and rotation based on which direction I am facing such that the firing point is always in front of me and pointing forward. This was my first legitimate hiccup in the development process of the game, but I figured it out and still got it working surprisingly fast by my standards, so it wasn't too bad. Now that Habanero Jr. can shoot, he needs something to shoot at, so stay tuned for part 5 where I begin to attempt to implement enemies into the game. 